We poured the essence of ourselves together in that moment and melded our thoughts and memories into a common pool. It was the most profoundly important magical act that had ever happened to either of us. We were so in love that we could hardly speak. But I have always had the ability to step back from my feelings. It's a Gemini thing. And took a deep breath and said, oh, this is wonderful and I love you very much, so much I can't even think straight. But I must think straight enough to be honest with you. I need you to understand that as much as I love you, be in a monogamous relationship. It's just not in my nature and I don't want to deceive you. I want you to be free to have other lovers and you're free to do that as well. I'll give you my whole heart and soul, but I cannot give you monogamy. There are other people in my life and there always will be other people. Yet what we have together is special and unique beyond any measure. Nothing will ever take away from that. Morning Glory says, and he looked back into my eyes and smiled like he had just found the Holy Grail. <laughs> back to me. I'd never had anybody present to me that way as what they wanted. It had always been me saying that. Everything we touched on was like that. We started coming up with every possible thing we could think of. And every time we did, we found a complete match. From that moment on, we were totally inseparable. The whole rest of the weekend was like a dream. Everybody who had come up there with me was packed into one hotel room. This was a custom we had picked up from going to science fiction conventions. We had all brought our sleeping bags with us. The closet was just big enough for Morning Glory and I to lie down in, so that became our private space, though I think we probably kept everyone else awake all night with the sounds we were making. Morning Glory said, I've always been a true dreamer. That is, from childhood, I would have dreams that would come to be real. About two years before Nastakan, I had dreamed that I was going to meet a man who was going to be a teacher for me. The goddess spoke to me to follow him and he would lead me to new life. When I woke up, the dream was so vivid that I told Gary about it. So I went about my life sort of looking for this person and wondering when I was going to meet him. I'd memorized his features exactly in the dream by sort of freezing the action, and I'd never forgotten them. When I met Tim, I kept thinking, this must be the guy in the dream, but there is something different about him. He does the same. I just couldn't put my finger on it. And then I finally got a copy of the Nasticon program book. I was flipping through it and I, and it was literally like it was cut with scissors out of the dream. And I told him, wow, this picture doesn't really look that much like you. And he said, yeah, it's an old picture. It was taken two years ago. Wham, there it was. It was truly destiny in my face, staring back at me. And there was no way I could deny it, explain it away with logic, or escape from the ineffable reality of it. It was like the gods said to me, you've always asked for proof of real magic. You asked for a miracle. Now, here it is. Deal with it. Many people go through their whole lives begging for just one scrap of true magic and then rarely recognize it when it finally does arrive. But I was so blessed that I was not going to make that mistake. I was not going to lose this perfect, shining, goddess-given gift at that point, I decided, okay, I have to accept this. This is genuinely my karmic fate. So now, what am I going to do? Back to me, Oz. We became the darlings of the entire con. At the big banquet, they set up a special table just for speakers. Of course, I insisted that an extra place had to be set for morning glory. Right across from us was Isaac Bonowitz, and he had two questions for us. When are you going to get married? And can I perform the ceremony? Well, this was like 24 hours after we'd met. Well, we turned to each other and said, next year at the spring gathering, because they were going to be having an Aquarian festival in Wichmoot on the 1974 spring equinox. And yes, you can perform the ceremony. And that was that. Uh, we had actually totally on impulse, even though we knew there was a lot that had to be resolved before it could happen. I mean, she had a loving husband and daughter and a whole community of friends out in Eugene, Oregon. Morning Glory said, much of our lives together have been about going with that same cosmic impulse and doing the unthinkable because it is the right and perfect thing to do when you're in the moment. Back to me. 
Morning Glory and I were great fans of the witty one-liners of Ashley Brilliant, and one we often quoted was, it's just you and me against the world. There are seven billion of them and only two of us, so we'll have to rely heavenly on the element of surprise. And so we did. And that is the story of how we met. So now I would like to invite others of you here to join us with your own comments and observations, and the floor is open. I'll let uh, Ed moderate this with, uh, you know, unmuting people, and go ahead. We are now on gallery, so if anyone wants to say anything, you just open up your mic and, and just be polite. And so one of the things I, I wanted to, I, let me go ahead and start out the question. So uh, with uh, Morning Glory, so what is that, where does Morning Glory fit in your life today? Well, she's on the other side these days, of course, um, being as how this is the seventh anniversary of her departure from this. And, uh, uh, she shows up a lot in the dreaming the other night, um, we had quite a lengthy session in the dreaming. She's very active on the other side, kind of, uh, she's on the welcome committee for all of our friends who are passing over. She's there to greet them. And the way we figure it is that she'll just keep on doing that until I show up. And then uh, she can pass it on to someone else and we'll go off, explore the afterlives and uh, make our plans to reincarnate together next time. So we don't have to waste so many years looking for each other again. Anyone else have any questions or statements or recollections? Hi, Oz. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> 